Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be tackling my master bedroom. On this wall we're going to be doing a faux shiplap that's painted with a dark blue um, with a gray undertone in it. And if you're curious on how to do faux shiplap, go back to my video playlist and check out the faux shiplap DIY that I did in the kitchen. Um, I'm not going to focus a ton on that with this project um, just because I don't want to redo content that I've already done. So make sure you check out that video. Um, so what we're going to do is get started with the walls here. So again, this is going to be the faux shiplap on just this wall and then the remainder of the walls throughout the room are going to be a taupe color. And then eventually I'll kind of show you guys how I'm going to decorate the room and we'll bring in those elements later. Uh, so let's go get started on the painting. All right, so different day. Uh, this project took me, as usual, a little bit longer than planned, but I have the shiplap wall done. I have all the paint on it, um, and then I did paint the other walls within the room. So the next part is to put everything back together, bring in some decor, um, and make this my room again. Let's get going. Pro tip, um, if you are dealing with a room that particularly doesn't have high ceilings, let's say, or you're dealing with a smaller bedroom window, I wanted to give you guys a couple pointers on um, how you can hang drapery to make your room feel taller and your window feel bigger. Um, so what I did is most people will hang their rods like right above the window um, trim. I brought mine almost all the way up to the ceiling. So what that does is that makes the room feel much taller because you're raising this line that the rod makes up towards the ceiling. So, um, and then also your panels can be that much longer. So then visually it kind of tricks the eye to make it feel taller in here. The other thing that I suggest doing is when you're hanging your rods and you're dealing with a smaller window, let's say, is extend the rod further past the edge of your frame. So again, a lot of people will end their rod like right where the trim of the window is. If you extend it a little bit further, that allows you to make the window feel bigger. So it's again, kind of just an illusion to the eye. So as you can kind of see, like right here, there's light coming through. So the end of the window is actually right here, but I've extended it further that way. So a couple things, it makes the window feel bigger and then also it gives you space so that when you open your curtains, that um, you can have it you know, past that window so you're letting in as much light as you can. Another thing I wanted to share with you is, again, just because you have a window that doesn't necessarily go all the way to the floor doesn't mean your curtains need to stop there. So I'm a fan of long curtains. Um, I think shorter tends to be a little bit more traditional in its look. So I like to do to the floor. These are actually a little bit longer, well, a lot bit longer than um, the measurement from the ceiling to the floor. So it has a nice pooling effect at the bottom. So that's just a personal preference for me. I think it looks, um, it gives kind of a dramatic look to the window treatments. So uh, either way, you can't go wrong.
right, so there you have it. Everything is done. I am so, so, so happy with how it turned out. Um, a lot of the things I did have in my room prior to, um, but the biggest things were getting the walls painted and the shiplap up. I like how these lights on the headboard kind of highlight um, the lines within the shiplap wall. While it is a dark wall, um, it is kind of cool to see how the lighting plays off of that. And I hope you guys like this video. I hope it inspires you to think outside the box when it comes to decorating your room or your house. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the transformation. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know. I'd love to do more for you. I have tons of rooms in my house that need to be decorated. So um, I had a really good time doing this as I always do. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel share this video with friends and family. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.